Hello and welcome back to Man V Film. It's time to jump into 2024 and I just wanted to say Happy New Year. Thanks for joining me last year. Hopefully you're going to join me this year as I look through a bunch of boutique releases that are going to come, no doubt, ones I don't even know about yet, some 4K upgrades, hopefully plenty of Italian films. I've got a bunch of movies, or a bunch of videos coming soon giving kind of top 10s for certain labels and some other kind of things coming along um, but this is just a kind of happy new year I hope you had a good one hope you had a great Christmas hope everything was fantastic and uh, just to look forward to the future I do have some blurry updates just to run through my first of 2024 as I received a package last night from uh, my friend Andy who had some extra things to send my way which was terrific which I'll go through in a minute but if you haven't done so, consider subscribing to the channel. Last year eh, wasn't the best year ever on YouTube for me. And that is what it is. I kind of cover a lot of movies that it seems like not a lot of people are interested in. So you can help me out by subscribing, by watching as many videos as you're interested in, or just letting them run, eh, by hitting like, by commenting. And if you want to go the extra mile, there is the Patreon where you can donate to the channel or the membership program where you can join that and get some extra videos throughout the year as well. Let's dive in to a couple of uh, titles that I got just yesterday. First up from Scream Factory on 4K, one of my favourite horror remakes, and that is The Blob. Now, I like the Steve McQueen original. I utterly love this Chuck Russell directed uh, Frank Darabont somewhat scripted film uh, which is just incredibly fun and I'm still waiting on that promised sequel that was uh, hinted at the end of it. I'd be happy to get it now if it's stuck to the kind of uh, world that this was originally set up in. Terrific. Uh, these are all 4Ks by the way. Next up we have Barbarella with this wonderfully bright cover. I've not seen Barbarella in about 20 years and I remember you know, the opening quite a bit and some other sequences in it as well and I'm kind of looking forward to diving into this one pretty soon because although I'm familiar with certain aspects a lot of it um, will be fresh. One movie that I know inside out and could probably play a part in it right now without even watching it is The Warriors, the Arrow uh, 4K edition of this is just phenomenal. I've heard this is a great 4K. I love the film. I have had many iterations of this since I first discovered this at a friend's house when we were way too young to be watching it and I've just grown up as a huge fan of this film. It's utterly terrific. So that was a, a kind of surprise gift from my friend Andy that leads me into uh, January. There'll be a bunch of videos coming soon where I, I do do some movie reviews but I kind of talk about um, my watch list. Uh, I will have some top 10s from various labels coming up as well. Maybe a little bit of a look to the future. But just now I'd love to know, how was your new year? Are you still suffering from it? Did you have a good one? Are you ready for the vinegar syndrome sale to start in a couple of hours for me but probably an hour after it goes live I'll be talking about it of which case I may have resubscribed I probably will have uh, we shall see as that time rolls around as always I appreciate any support you can give me um, because it's great so watch a video like a video uh, go to the Patreon or the, the membership program it's all wonderful I hope you have a fantastic 2024 and I hope you join me throughout the year as we look at some films and just have general movie chit-chat along the way. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.